Hey everybody, Joe Lowry, what a day here. Happy Monday to everybody. And first off and foremost, I wanna thank the hundreds, nearly thousands of people who have commented, thanked me for the uh, mental health video I did last week. The response for me has just been off the charts, never in a million years that I think um, this video would go the way it has. I mean, all over the world, people calling, texting, emailing, messaging me, uh, telling me their personal stories. And I'm very humbled by it all, but I just wanna say thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody who reached out. Um, the video, if it's still out there, please keep sharing it. My goal, try to save one life at all. If I can, that'd be great. Um, I just, the, the response has been incredible, even on Twitter, all social media platforms, off the charts. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you all. And, you know, hey, let's all hashtag end the stigma. Okay, moving on. All right, well, we all know this weekend, Mr. Andrew Luck, that's right, the Indianapolis Colts quarterback has officially retired from the NFL. And what's really bothering me is the, um, the lack of respect, or I should say the booing of the fans in Indianapolis Saturday night. Now, <clears throat> I'm not sure if anybody understands what a life of a pro football player is like. Um, I'm just going to give you a quick rundown of Andrew Luck's injuries that he's played through or, you know, he hasn't actually played a snap of football since January 2017. That's right, a regular season snap since January 2017 because this was due to a torn labrum in his right throwing shoulder. Try, try dealing with that, people. Okay, he also played with torn cartilage in two ribs, a partially torn abdomen, a lacerated kidney that has left him urinating blood. That's just disgusting. At least one concussion, of course, a torn labrum, and of course now the calf ankle issue that led to his retirement. Now let's not forget, this is all after being the number one overall pick in the 2012 NFL Draft. Now to be the number one pick in the overall draft coming out of the NFL means that in the, in the NCAA, you're already on the radar pretty much in high school. No doubt in my mind, a challenge for any high school kid. So he's probably got about eight years of some type of football experience going into the NFL. So anyone to question his commitment and dedication to the sport of football should go without prejudice. Now what the fans did in Indy Saturday night, in my opinion, absolutely positively disgusting. There is no other word for it. The man has proven to the team, the owners, the NFL, he is a man of integrity. He's done a lot for the city of Indianapolis. Andrew Luck had to do what Andrew Luck had to do, not what he wanted to do. His mind and body have been sending him messages for years now that he finally stopped ignoring. His health and overall well-being was more important than the game of football. Now, for us football fans, you know, we go and watch the game on TV, we turn it off, we go about our day. Now, we don't forget, these athletes are living a vicious 24-7 cycle of training, preparing, practicing, playing football, dealing with injuries, mental and physical, seven and a half, eight months out of the year, sometimes more, depending on the off-season camps. They work more hours than the average human does, the average human being does in a typical work week, and they do get sick but still play. Now, we're all going to say they're well compensated for their time, which some players are. I, I agree there are exuberant contracts out there. But I always can't compare professional athletes in their salaries due to the, the type of sport it is. Now, we all know the NFL is a money marketing billion-dollar corporation. So if I was a plumber and my company said, hey, Joe, you're worth $10,000 an hour, would I even argue about that? Of course not. So, you know, I'm not here to talk about salaries. But what I will say is that Andrew Luck could have repeated a cycle and made nearly a billion dollars if he kept playing hurt or not hurt. Now, you know, Andrew Luck is mentally as well as physically worn down. There's no doubt about it. Look at him. His beard's grown. He's just depressed. He'll most likely have to endure some type of long-term treatment to help him separate himself from the game. He loved this game. He's played it since he was a kid. This is not easy, folks. You know, let me try and put it in better perspective. Say you're married for 35 years, and one day you wake up and magically you're not in love anymore. Statistics show that most spouses would stick it out for 85% whether they're happy or not. Does that make life easier? Of course not. Now, Andrew Luck in his athletic way loved and was married to the sport of football. Now he is slowly moving away from the game, and it's not easy. Now, I respect Andrew's decision. I respect what he has brought to the game, and he's a man who believes that a person's life is more important than going for it on fourth down in overtime. Andrew Luck made the hardest decision a man can make at the age of 29, and that is to walk away from something he loved more than life, since he could even pronounce the word football. Andrew Luck will be okay. His body will hopefully heal mentally and physically. His mind will become whole again, and who knows what the future will bring for the former number one overall draft pick in the 2012 Andrew Luck deserved to be revered for his courage and integrity. To retire from a game that shows no love back to the athlete who plays it, Andrew Luck left it all on the field, and my wish is that the field will honor his choice in a positive way. And my other wish 
is that the Indi Indianapolis fans will do the same. All right, folks, I'm Joe Lowry. You guys have a great Monday. I'll be back tomorrow. Also, big news, I'm going to be on a podcast in London tomorrow morning. That's right. So be on the lookout for that. Other than that, you guys have a great Monday. Take care. What a day.